something that the Lord just kind of revealed to me. I think it's quite incredible. So I'm reading Genesis 39, where Joseph is put in charge of Potiphar's house and all that he owns. Of course, he eventually puts him in prison because of what his wife, her little plan of trying to seduce him and it didn't work. He uh, fled from, from her, but even in prison, the Lord was with Joseph and Joseph was even given favor from the chief of the prison and he put all that he had in charge of, of uh, Joseph. What I find incredible about this is that of course, Joseph is in Egypt, so their God is not the Lord. They do not know the Lord. They do not give reverence to him. They are non-believers. They have their own gods, right? But it says that Potiphar knows that he sees that the Lord is with Joseph. And because of that, he gives Joseph charge over his house, over his possessions. Only thing Potiphar actually worried, was worried about was his own food, what he ate. Everything else he gave in charge to Joseph outside of his life. And then when he goes to prison, the same thing happens. Why is it that non-believers trust those who believe, those who believe in the creator of the universe, those who are believers of God. You know why? It's because God allows those non-believers to see God's hand on that person. And they see that, wow, everything they touch or do in life, they are successful at. It is nothing of their own doing. It's something different. There's something different about them. And I think that that is why they trust non-believers atheists will still trust the believers because I think deep down they know there is a God. Deep down they know they were created by Him. They just get confused and they, they don't want to believe stuff like that. They don't want to, they, they get influenced by society and their friends. Oh, well, my friend thinks that and that makes total sense so I'm just going to go with that. Think about it. It just kind of jumped off the page at me that chapter 39 why do non-believers trust those who believe it's because often ultimately deep down they know they know god is real and they know that he is pure he is holy and if god's hand is on that person they know that if god is a holy and pure and trustworthy and promise keeping god that the hand that the person that his hand is on, their character is going to be the same. That's incredible, right? Makes you think. If you do not believe in Jesus, I think you know. I think you do. I really do. God bless.